This is Andy Purrell for Boxing Social in association with Betfred, and I'm delighted to be joined by former world title challenger and British champion Jason Wellborn over Zoom. Jason, first and foremost, how are you? All right, thanks. As good as can be. That's good to hear, mate. Now, obviously, we just had a brief chat there. You're in the bubble. How are you finding life there? It's it's one of them things. We just got to get on. It is hard. It's hot today. You know what I mean? And we're more making weight and. Um, you know what I mean? You're all this media and everything, we just got to keep on the ball. Man. But uh, it is hard, but obviously it's what we've got to do, obviously, to fight. So um, it'll soon be done. It's obviously about a month or so ago when I came to see you in the gym. Since then, obviously, you camp coming to a close. How how good or, you know, how did you about last month run for yourself? It was good. Obviously, things have started easing off and... Um, it's been good. It's been it's been a good camp. Obviously, from obviously the lockdown, messing about, and everybody doing little bits and bobs, what we could, straight into camp. It's picked me up. It's, it's got me back under this under the lights again. So um, I'm lucky to be here. To be honest, Frankie Dearns, obviously, everyone giving me the shot again at my weight, middleweight. So that's that's a bonus. So I'm just um, I'm just glad, glad glad that I'm back in the mix. Do you see this as if? Yeah, you know, Rob, do you see this as kind of your last chance to make an impression, to make a statement in boxing to, to try and better your career? Or do you think even if this weekend didn't go to plan, there is more opportunities out there for you? There probably is going to be more opportunities, but if I want to take them opportunities, I don't want to keep working hard and going down. At the end of the day, I've done the British, I've done well at all. I want to get where I go again. I call for these setbacks and obviously he's in the same position. He could probably rebuild. Obviously, but uh, from my from my size, my, my career, what I've done, I need obviously I need this win, a stepping stone to move on. So um, the win probably means more to me than obviously him at this stage. So um, I need that win, obviously mentally from my point of view, so I can obviously take this training camp, what I've loved, obviously under Richie Gent now, and we've we've he's working with me, and it's been nice to do that as a, as a team, and it feels like I've got a good team now, and I can progress then. On to the next camp, maybe other 12 weeks. You know what I mean? So, this fight's going to be an eye opener for my next fight. So, it's just getting the winner everywhere I get the win for. It. I need that win, and I've worked hard enough as best as I can in the eight weeks to do that. Everybody's used to seeing you kind of come forwards, being aggressive, and you like to get involved. Is that the Jason Wellborn we should expect to see on Friday night? Or do you think you might have to kind of go about your business in a different manner uh, with regards to how you go about fighting Felix Cash? Now, at the end of the day, I've got to go out and I've got to set a sta statement from round one. And um, I've got to, if it goes into the, them trenches, I've got to be there. And I've been there before. And um, that's it. It's uh, Whatever he brings to the table, I've got to adapt. But obviously, we've worked on other little things. And um, I keep, obviously, every fight I'm learning. And I've got the, by all means, I've got the experience. You, call, uh, you can't buy that and can't train that. And I think he's who's going to go down. He's got the biggest heart and the biggest snackers on the night, like. What do you think Felix will bring into fight? How do you think Felix will approach it? Um, I think at the end of the day, he's, he's had the right fight. He's had a 50-50 fight. He might think he's going to walk right through me. Um, his, level, his level's above me. And uh, every, every time I've stepped up, I've fell short. But um, my career and his career, my camps have been different to him and I'm still here. I mean, I've won that British top. He's got to go and get it. And um, I've been there and done it. But the thing is, I've done it the harder way than he has so uh, whatever way you do it I've done it harder than him so at the end of the day I know for about getting that ring with anyone you can put anyone in the ring with me at middleweight uh, I'll hold my own Jace yeah, boxing for beyond closed doors as well how do you feel about that how do you feel you'll adapt to having no audience in attendance uh, it's just like it's going to be like you're sparring back in the gym um, at the end of the day we're professional. we just got to get in there when I think when that bell goes and you're getting punched, you am <laughs> you're gonna switch on. You know what I mean? It looks and I've seen it last week, the last few weeks, and it, it, it looks amazing what Eddie's done. So I think that's that's the adrenaline's gonna be there no matter what anyway, whether you got twenty thousand, fifty thousand people at the back on you. So I'm just concentrating on that um on that win and nothing else. Well nothing from myself, Jace. We've obviously seen two brilliant headline fights on the Matrim shows these past couple of weekends. Is there any added pressure to kind of live up to that and produce your own barnstormer? No, no. At the end of the day, it's um, it's been a good fight and a, it's a back garden specials like. So who knows? Me, we, we might 
we might hit it hit the nail on the head and be make the third the third one the best. As obviously Eddie Ernst did say, he's looking forward to this one. But um, you know what? As long as that win, if it's going to be a war, it's going to be a war. I'm 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 born and bred for this, so uh, I'm re- I'm ready. I'm ready now, Lloyd. Yeah, so we'll leave that there and I'll pass you on to the others. Best of luck with the rest of the week and I'll speak to you when you're back. Thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Okay.